going on everybody? It's Tim Eggerson here and I help fitness business owners that run group training programs. So those that have facilities or studios that accommodate group training or that have indoor or outdoor boot camps, fill their programs to capacity, increase their prices so they can charge a premium, fill their programs with high paying motivated clients that are gonna come on board, get kick ass results and also allow your business to generate the profit, give you the freedom and have the impact that you want for it, okay? And not in a way that you might think either. All right, now, before, uh, in this video, okay, in this video, I wanna talk about some, I wanna give you some actual real strategies. A lot of people give away theories in their videos. I wanna give you some actual real quality content in the things you can do to improve the retention of your group training clients, okay? Now, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, then you potentially haven't heard me talk about the importance of making sure that you keep as many clients as possible in your fitness business, okay? Because look, there's loads of gurus, loads of strategies, loads of marketing experts, loads of people that haven't even run fitness businesses nine times out of 10, they're gonna be able to teach you or, or apparently have the secret method to bring in new clients into your business, okay? Using Facebook ads, using Insta ads, using XYZ, okay? To bring new people into your business, okay? But the, the problem is even if, even if you find a strategy that's hugely successful, okay, and we have a massively successful strategy of bringing people into your business, if those clients are not staying, if they're falling away at the same rate, okay, on average, that new people are coming in, you're never gonna be able to grow, okay? The way to predictably, okay, and strategically grow your business to capacity and hit the revenue figures and the profit that you want is to make sure that you retain the clients that you bring into your business, period, okay? Key. Now, a lot of people, um, especially new coaches when they come into the industry, they actually don't realize the, the things that you need to bring in, the things you need to bring into your program to ensure that you do retain clients. Okay, like the value additions are super important, okay? It's actually everything you do outside of the program that makes a big difference to this, okay? The fact that you deliver kick-ass sessions and it's all strength-based and hoorah, rah, and it's all colorful and brilliant, then that's fantastic, okay? But good sessions are expected, okay? The fact that you give nutrition advice and it's good and it's laid out well for your clients and it's delivered in, a, in such a way that it's easy for them to understand and they get results, that's great, but again, that is expected, Okay, it's what we can do above and beyond that that's gonna create a five-star experience and raving clients, they're not just clients, they're raving fans, okay, that wanna stay on board with you, that wanna refer other people to you, that become a fulfilling part of your business and, <clears throat> and offer and allow you to grow your numbers month on month on month on month on month until you hit capacity, okay? That's what you should want for your business. So look, there's a few things, okay? The first thing, that I think, and it provides the highest value above all else, okay? I feel that in my, you know, in my research and the data that I've got, I've had my group training business for nine, actually nearly 10 years, now it's coming on to 10 years. The first thing that I recommend that you do to add value to your business and retain more clients is to keep them super accountable, okay? You gotta think about their journey, okay? They are joining for a reason. They wanna get results and they wanna feel, um, a part of your experience and that you're adding value to ensure that all of the things they've struggled with before that have not allowed them to be able to complete a plan or stick to a plan or stay with them long enough for them to get to where they want to be is usually the problem, okay? Now, what most other programs do is you kind of just turn up when you want, gym, turn up when you want, um, other you know classes, group training programs, etc. Just kind of turn up, the session goes on, go home. If you don't show up, no one really notices X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, if you have some systems in place to ensure that clients are making it to every single session, that you notice if they don't come to the sessions, that they are fulfilling the things that they need to do in terms of what they eat and how you recommend the nutrition advice that comes alongside your program to deliver results. If they feel like they are accountable to doing those things. Your program goes up like double, triple, 10x, the value that anything else that doesn't do those things provides, okay? And you need to get on top of this. It doesn't necessarily have to be you as the business owner, okay? You may do this at the beginning, you may do this when you're building it up, but as you get 
bigger and you have a small team around you, okay, they can contribute to making sure that your program su su supplies them, okay, or delivers high level accountability that makes people feel obliged to take action on the important components of your program that deliver them a result, okay? Are they getting text messages before the sessions? Are they getting text messages if they don't turn up the sessions? Okay, have you got a, a Facebook group online, a secret group online somewhere, okay, where people can post up their meals? Have you got somebody checking that they're posting up their meals? Have you got somebody asking them where their meals are if they don't post up their meals? Okay, have you, is it such a thing where your group becomes so entwined and they're all doing it that everybody does it because everybody does it? Okay, those kind of things where people feel super included and accountable to doing what they need to do, which is kind of like a kick up a butt, up the butt, kind of like a, a prod in the right direction, kind of like a nudge, kind of like a coach, whatever that is for you and your business and your, and your values, delivered in a program that actually does that, that's gonna be worth so much more than anything else your area offers bar none. Okay, that's, that's my first, um, my first, my, my top level, okay, that's what I consider to be the top level of value to provide. Second one, okay, do you care more than everyone else? Do you care more than everyone? Do you notice what your clients are doing? Do you congratulate them when they do something great? Do you notice when they have, maybe haven't posted? Do you notice when they haven't shown up? Do you, do you speak to them one-to-one? -one? Do you remember their name? Do you remember things they've told you about? and are unable to have a conversation about those things. Do your coaches do that? Are they completely on board with every single person in there? And do they actually give a shit more than everybody else uh, in your area, in the, in the country, in the, on the globe, okay? Caring more than everybody else and having those personal touches will retain more clients than buying them a gift every single week. Okay, I'm not saying buying gifts wouldn't be a cool thing to do and we do that, but I actually feel that actually showing care and actually showing some compassion and actually empathizing with them where possible and if that's not impossible because the situation is so far away from you, sympathizing with them and helping them and giving them solutions and strategies and individualization and doing what you can when you can to demonstrate how much you care and provide a safety net that even if they're not following, even if they're not adhering to your program as much as you'd like them to, you're showing them that you're there as soon as they want to kind of, if they need extra help, they want extra help, they need a nudge in the right direction, they need progression, you're there to fulfill that with them. That's going to retain and keep your clients above and beyond everything else, okay? Accountability. This is, these are almost the same things. Caring more than everybody else. Actually giving a shit, okay? Key. Third thing I've got written down here, okay? Creating a community. Whatever you can do to build and support and grow a community of people is such, such a powerful thing to have in your business, especially as group training business providers. Okay, if we're doing group training, people are training in groups, you wanna kind of build the group and keep it inclusive of everybody and, and lead that community, okay? I, I, this page used to be called Fitness Leaders and people were like, Tim, you're such a big head, you're not a fitness leader or whatever, you haven't got 25 gyms and XYZ, okay? Now what I actually meant by fitness leaders was leadership coaching because that is what I feel when you run a group training business, if it's a micro gym, if it's a big gym, if it's a facility, if it's outdoor boot camps, if it's 10 franchises of outdoor boot camp, whatever it is, okay? You are leading a group of people and therefore you are a fitness leader and your goal is to lead this community. So whether that be with events, whether you do a Christmas party, a summer party, a charity event, a barbecue, a mud run, a freaking a shopping trip, wherever it is, the more you can support, develop, grow, and lead that community and include everybody and have people feel like they're a part of something, you know, the more powerful that group is. Okay, people are not going to want to leave if they feel like it's just like a great place and people, you know, it's a good vibe, it's, a, it's an enjoyable situation, it's an enjoyable place to be, they're friends there, that kind of thing. Like, you don't want to leave that sort of thing. I'm part of groups of masterminds and programs that I don't want to leave because I feel like I'm part of the group. Okay, and if you can support that community, um, you're, going to have, you're going to retain clients for longer. And again, this is not tactics so much. This is not like, okay, cool, I've got this cool little strategy that's going to make someone pay you for longer. This is like... How to make your business absolutely epic, the clients absolutely love it, they want to stay, they want to pay, they want to be a part of it, they want to refer their friends, they want this to be an awesome thing for you, they're supportive of you and you're supportive of them and the, and the relationship is reciprocal. 
okay? This is key, these things are key, okay? Accountability, caring the most, building a community. The other thing are those just because things, okay? Those nice little touches that you as a small business owner, which you know, 99 times out of 100 you're gonna be if you're running this sort of setup with a group fitness program, is there anything you can do? A card in a post, a handwritten card, just because, okay? And this could be from you or your team or your assistant, and it could be just, you know, from you, okay? Gifts sent out, maybe sent out in the post, or gifts at your group training sessions, okay? Just to just deliver, maybe a group of t-shirts, okay? A, a, a t-shirt, a group with everybody wearing the same t-shirt, you can take a photo of them. Like we have a scrapbook with over 50 different type, types of t-shirts that we've handed out over the last 10 years. Of all our clients wearing them and calling they all wear them, they make vests out of them, and it's just a super cool little vibe that like, it's a club that, that we have, okay? Because we've created that. We've done water bottles, we've done Hoodie, we've done all kind of different things, okay? Anything, it, it could even be just like a personalized thing that someone just absolutely crushed it. You just send them out a little card and just say like, look, look dude, so so proud of you for, for losing four stone, whatever it is. Like that little touch will mean absolutely everything, okay? I promise that, like one million percent. And you know, again, the more you can do that, the more you can personalize it, the more you can you can um, add just that kind of little, that little, you know, good business, goodwill touch to things, you know, the, the, the more goodwill that's gonna build with your people, okay? And the more goodwill you build with them, you know, the better your business will be, the more supportive they're gonna be, the more inclusive it's gonna be for everybody inside of it, okay? So there's four powerful strategies that you can use to retain your clients, okay? Just wanted to make this video 100% about the value um, and four, give you four tangible things or like, you know, they're just categories. I give you tons of tangible ideas, but inside those categories, for you to go out and use within your group training business, okay? If you are serious about growing your group training business, okay, and you want an, a full, like a bulletproof system, okay, a four-stage system, which is lead generation using highly profitable social media advertising, okay, to bring people into your business, to take them into a group sales consultation, okay, which leverages, makes the sales super efficient to bring them into a, a front end offer, okay, a, pro, a, a short uh, duration based program, like a six week forward challenge, S bring them in on that, get them kick ass results, add this value in just the way that I'm talking about now and, and other things that we use individually, which actually systemize the value and automate it to a level that the clients get a great experience and, and you save some time on it and gets kick ass results, key thing, and then has them become raving fans, so they stay with you for the long term, then please book in a call with me, okay? I'm gonna probably post a link somewhere around this. Um, you can do that, the call link will be gtgacool.com, gtgacool.com, not a sales call, I'm gonna try and say you nothing, maybe a call with me, maybe someone on my team. What we're gonna do is get an understanding of your business, okay? Learn what it's all about, discuss strategy with you, Des decide where you are now, okay, and where you wanna be, and give you the strategy to bridge that gap. And if I think GTGA would be a good fit for you, then I'll send you some information on it. You can learn all about it. If you think it would be a good fit for you, you can get on board. And if you don't, no worries. You can just have a strategy call with us and we can just to geek out on fitness business because I geek out on that shit anyways. Okay? So that's it for me today. Okay? Retain your clients. If you retain your clients, it's only a case of bringing new ones in. Okay? If people are always falling off, then there's something not quite right, right on point with the value. Okay, add more value. If you want to learn more about our system that we've used in over 70 different markets across the, you know, the UK, the USA, Ireland, even Dubai, okay, then please book a call with me. There'll be a link posted potentially around this video somewhere, depending on what platform you're watching it from, or it's at gtga call, gtgacaww.com, and I look forward to speaking to you there. Any questions, then please just um, stick them around this video as well and post them on the page. I always get back to all my questions. Speak soon, send me out.